Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the Savage Gear treble hooks. These are the Savage Gear uh, grip trebles, and the idea behind these is that their eye on the treble hook, as you can see here, the eye of the treble hook is made from braided line. That's 120 pound braided line, and then it's epoxied to the actual shank of the hook. Now the idea behind this, uh, this is something a lot of bass fishermen have been using, uh, making their own uh, braided, I guess you can say eyes for these hooks. And it's because when you're using a split ring straight to a solid hook on your hard bait, what's gonna happen is as that bait spins and as you're fighting a fish, that hook locks up. As you can see there, it just spinned about a half a turn or spun about a half a turn and it locked up. And the idea behind the braid, I have these hooks on this uh, top water here, is that your bait and the hook can spin freely. As you can see, I'm spinning that bait a number of times and it hasn't locked up, about four to five turns and then it finally gets a little bit tight on there. And this will help you avoid losing fish because what happens is when that hook locks up, the fish is basically using the leverage from your bait to pop that hook out because it's nice and tight right now and then as that fish moves it can pop that hook out and that's the main reason why you lose a lot of fish on treble hooks because of those hooks locking up also when you're fighting a fish and that hooks locked up and let's say the fish changes direction that also causes those hooks to pop out so these hooks with the braided line on them can definitely help keep those fish locked in because as you uh, fight the fish, you can see that lure moves around freely and the hook stays in place. You can spin this thing all around and that hook will stay in place because of that braid. Now something else really nice about these uh, Savage Gear hooks is that they have that wide gap bend so it helps lock in fish even better as opposed to standard treble hooks that have that standard round bend. As you can see there, these have sort of that a uh, unique curve to them like a wide gap hook which helps lock those fish in place much better. Also they're very strong hooks, stronger than your standard trebles that you would get on your standard hard baits. Now as far as some details about the hooks themselves, uh, they come in a four pack and also they have four different sizes available. This is the number four size that I have here. They also have a number two, a number one, and then a one aught. As you get closer to that one out hook, it's going to be a much bigger hook. And then as you go down to the number four, it's gonna be a smaller hook. And I have found that these number fours work really well uh, for lures such as a head end Super Spook Junior. As you can see here, these four uh, to five inch baits, it works really well for those baits. And then when you get to the one out size, that's gonna be better suited for very big hard baits uh, in that six to seven inch range. Now, as far as price goes, these go for around $10 a pack for a pack of four. So that's a little bit on the pricey end. So if you're on a budget, I probably wouldn't recommend going with these. There is a way that you can actually tie your own braid uh, to treble hooks, which I will talk about in another video, uh, just in case you do want to try this out, but you don't want to spend $10 for a pack of hooks. Now, as far as some of the other cons, that I have found with these. Just the fact that it is braid connecting to your uh, split ring there. Over time, the split ring is going to be, you know, bumping into that line and chafing it up. So it could uh, start fraying that line up and you may end up breaking that hook off. Also, if you happen to hook into a toothy fish such as a barracuda or a Spanish mackerel or something like that, and they have the whole hook in their mouth, their teeth rubs on that braid it could break that line as well. So uh, definitely a weak point as opposed to a split ring. But if you're targeting fish uh, such as redfish, trout, snook, any of those fish that don't have teeth, you're not really going to run the risk of breaking that uh, unless of course, like I said, that braid starts rubbing into that split ring. So definitely check every now and then to make sure that braid is not frayed up. Now, since we're on the topic of products here, if you are one of our Salt Strong Insider Club members, definitely be sure to check out the discounts page where we have 20% off a ton of products from hooks, lures, soft plastics, terminal tackle, rods, reels, cast nets, even sunglasses uh, from some of the top brands that are out there. 
Again, 20% off those products. And if you're not an Insider member, highly recommend checking it out because the membership pretty much pays for itself with those discounts. And if you like gear, definitely A+. So that will wrap up this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Also, if you have used these hooks and want to share your feedback, whether it's good or bad, definitely let us know in the comments down below. So thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Hey there, it's Joe Simons, one of the co-founders here at Salt Strong, and have you claimed your free pack of these irresistible Slam Shady Paddle Tail Lures? We designed this lure with over 12,000 serious inshore anglers, including many full-time guides, to go out there and catch more redfish, more speckled trout, more snook, more flounder, more inshore saltwater slams. And if you want a free pack to try out a sample yourself, click down below right now. We have one free pack per angler while supplies last. Click down below right now.